Good morning, I'm Kathleen Mesmer. And I'm Andrea Rillo. And, and you're, you're watching, watching this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. BPA State was this weekend, was hosted last weekend in Indianapolis. 14 individuals are advancing to the national competition in Boston. We'd like to wish these students the best of luck as they head to Boston. 47 Jasper High School students traveled to Indianapolis for the BPA State Leadership Conference. Jasper is a part of District 10, probably the loudest district in the whole state. After two days of competing, 14 students will advance to the National Leadership Conference in Boston this May. Two first place finishes were John Paul Luke in database applications and Jillian Blessinger, Caroline Teal, and Joey Wallace in news broadcast team. Third place, Nellie Mowat from Jasper. Second place, Cheyenne Engermeyer from North Coast. And third place, John Paul Luke. Third place, Richmond High School. Headed to the National Conference, second place, Kankakee Valley High School. Fourth place, Luke Fleck, Jasper High School. Fourth place, Elizabeth Birkin, Jasper. Third place, Kaylin Stillwell, Jasper. Third place, Larry Burgess, Jasper. Noah Jasper, Nelly for County. Third place, Brandon Sizemore, Jasper. Great job to all who competed and made the BPA trip fun. This past Monday, several radio and TV students competed in the Indiana Association of School Broadcasters competition. Congratulations to Luke Foster, Simeon Harris, and Austin Hofe on their first place finish in radio imaging. <laughs> Last Monday, a bus full of radio and TV students traveled to Indy for the annual IASB Radio and Broadcasting Competition. Okay, it is currently 8.42 and we are on our way to IASB. No blocks! Yes! yes. How are you feeling? Well, we're currently in a bus, and it's very shaky. So I feel like I'm being shaked around by a bus. Okay. What are you most looking forward to about today? The food. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? I'm tired. Did you enter anything? No. Nope. Why not? I'm lazy. Uh, did you enter anything in IASB? No, but it's still a really nice time. You know, being able to go and see like, all the workshops. It's still a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, we're we currently going to our first session. Yeah, it'll be hard. Oh my gosh. Yay! Going to the next session available because this place it's getting full quickly. <laughs> Hopefully a cafeteria will not be finished. Right. After the workshops, everyone gathered in the auditorium for awards. So, we're here now, waiting for the awards with Curtis. Hey. hey. So, anxiety levels are high right Nerves now. Nerves are up. Fingers oh. crossed. Yeah. Jasper took home first in the radio imaging category. Sound effects, sound lights, and music consistently reinforce the station branding. This is the Jasper High School radio station. 93.7.3. The Scrap. Hannah Ryberg and Hillary Bauer also competed in the speech and debate state competition this weekend. Hillary broke quarterfinals in her category. We would like to congratulate both of them on a successful season. The dance team competed in the state competition this past weekend at Newcastle. The girls placed third in hip-hop and fourth in palm. Carson Whistle also made the academic all-state team, along with 14 other girls from around the state. Congrats to Carson and the rest of the dance team on a successful season. Several spring sports.
sports have started their seasons this week. Here is a sneak peek on what's to come in the upcoming seasons. The girls' tennis team is a tradition of success that's one of the most underappreciated sports teams in Jasper, and 2016 team will be no different as the expectations are amongst the highest of any team in the state of Indiana. We want, we want to defend our conference championship, um, and we'd like to get back to the state finals. I mean, that's a couple of things that I think the girls in the back of their mind would hope, at least I would hope that that's what they're looking forward to. Part of the reason for such high expectations is at the top of the varsity roster. Maria Lincoln and Sarah Monismith are the top two singles players in the squad, and at their best, they're one of the best one-two punches in the entire state, according to Coach Yarbrough. Uh, Maria Leakin, uh, who is a returning senior, uh, and Sarah Monismith, who is a returning sophomore, uh, provide us a really strong punch. One of probably the best one-two punches in the state. Uh, Carmel North Central may have the top two, but returning both of those girls uh, is a good place to start. And to compete at the state level, you need to have uh, some pretty good power, some pretty good players, and, and Maria and Sarah will provide that ability and that level for us uh, this coming season. As any athlete knows, support is valuable, and that's no different in tennis. It's not quite like a football or basketball game, or maybe even a baseball game. You have to time your applause a little bit, but the girls like the support as much as anybody else. So uh, it is a little different, uh, but uh, they appreciate anybody coming out and cheering anytime they get a chance. The girls will open their 2016 campaign, and they're close to get back to the state finals in just a few weeks on April 5th, when they're at home against Floyd Central starting at 5.30. For Wildcat Weekly, I'm Nick Hodell. You have probably noticed a handful of seniors getting dressed up and creating their own versions of Shakespeare's works. The annual Shakespearean Festival is taking place today, and the senior class has been working hard to showcase their creative performances. Some of your classmates may be going to warm, sunny beaches over spring break while you're stuck in Jasper, but don't be discouraged. Here are a few tips on how you can be rescued from being stranded over spring break. Well, I'm either staying in Jasper, or I might just go to Florida or something. I don't know, man. I gotta get out of this town. I'm probably just going to do what I always do. Stay home all week and sleep and eat, and maybe even go outside once or twice. I might go to the beach, or hang out in a swamp, and take pictures of a lot of things. That's usually what I do. I survive every day in Washington by staying in my house and closing the doors. It was the night before spring break and all through the school. Not a student was stirring, except for Allison. All of her friends left town for break to go on lavish vacations and trips to visit family. But Allison is stranded in Jasper for the whole week. With nothing else to do, Allison wandered the halls of JHS until her friends returned. You gotta hit all the hot spots. You can go to Crawford County, check out the shoe tree. Um, of course, there's Hemlock Cliffs. We can always go, I just saw my first buggy with ground effects over in Montgomery. So you can go check out the Amish and their ground effects. Or of course, the happening place is always the Skate Lace since like 1902 or whatever. Cause the Skate Palace. Probably hang out at some lame places, like, I don't know, Tristan's house, or, dude, I'm doing an interview? Well, get in here now, <laughs> So, I don't know, I'll probably hang out with Tristan. Yeah, it's, 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 it's cool. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna go to the speech meet this weekend. Uh, I'm not really hanging out, I'm just lying. <laughs> Uh, and I don't know, what else? I'll probably, I'm gonna like go to France or something. I don't know. Maybe. Is this just a weekend trip? <sighs> Isn't spring break like a week? It's something like that, you know? Yeah, just, I don't care. Last what week of March, what whatever. Else? Yeah, I'll probably play with my phone a I mean, I'll be in North Carolina for a little bit, just visiting colleges. Do you have yeah. phones there? I don't know, maybe. They're kind of old fashioned. Yeah. It's whatever, it's cool. Good food, cool food. Mm. 
that's it for this week's edition of Wildcat Weekly. Hope you all enjoy your spring break. Thanks for watching.